The Global Slavery Index is a global study of modern slavery conditions by country published by the Walk Free Foundation founded by Andrew Forrest. To date, four editions have been published, in 2013, 2014, 2016, and 2018. In 2018, building on the global estimates of modern slavery, the report estimated that globally 40.3 million people were in some form of modern slavery on any given day in 2016. The report includes three data points for each of the 167 countries it covers national estimates of the prevalence of modern slavery, a measure of vulnerability, and an assessment of the strength of government responses to modern slavery. Topic. Calculation The 2018 Global Slavery Index includes data on three key variables, the prevalence of modern slavery in each country, vulnerability to modern slavery, and government responses to modern slavery. In 2018, the Global Slavery Index methodology underwent several changes and used significantly expanded data sources. The methodology is written up in detail in the Global Slavery Index report. In 2017, the inaugural Global Estimates of Modern Slavery were produced by the International Labour Organization and the Walk Free Foundation in partnership with the International Organization for Migration. Acknowledged data gaps in earlier editions of the Global Slavery Index, including lack of data on forced sexual exploitation and children in modern slavery, were addressed by adopting a combined methodological approach when developing the Global Estimates of Modern Slavery. This involved drawing on three sources of data. The existing Global Slavery Index survey program was expanded to include 54 surveys covering 48 countries. More than 71,000 people have been interviewed and the countries surveyed represent over half of the world's population. It is the most extensive survey program on modern slavery ever undertaken and forms the central component of the global estimates of modern slavery. Administrative data from the International Organization for Migration's databases of assisted victims of trafficking, and Data derived from validated secondary sources and a systematic review of comments from the International Labour Organization's supervisory bodies regarding ILO conventions on forced labor. The 2018 Global Slavery Index uses the same data sources and regional and global estimates from the Global Estimates of Modern Slavery. The regional estimates form the starting point for the 2018 Global Slavery Index national level estimates for 167 countries. The prevalence estimates from the 2018 Global Slavery Index were calculated according to the following process Individual and country level variables that have a significant relationship with forced labor or forced marriage at the individual level were identified. Data for this analysis were taken from Gallup World Poll GWP surveys conducted in 2014, 2015, and 2016. Predicting modern slavery these risk factors were used to build a statistical model that best predicts occurrence of modern slavery at the individual level. Estimating prevalence and aligning with global estimates of modern slavery regional estimates. Individual predictions were aggregated into risk scores at the country level. Whereas survey data on forced labor and forced marriage are not available for every country, a broader set of survey data covering variables such as age, gender, marital status and so on was available for 147 countries. Country risk scores were used to estimate country prevalence, based on the extent to which the country risk score deviated from the average regional risk scores. Final calculation of estimated prevalence Number of victims was then estimated by applying the estimated prevalence to population data for each country. To this base estimate, an estimate of state-imposed forced labor was added to determine the final estimated prevalence of all forms of modern slavery. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Controversy and criticism. Much of the criticism of the Global Slavery Index relates to the methodology employed to produce prevalence estimates presented in the 2016 Global Slavery Index and earlier editions. The 2016 Global Slavery Index prevalence estimates were based on results of surveys in 25 countries through the Gallup World Poll, the results of which were extrapolated to countries with an equivalent risk profile. Measurements of forced sexual exploitation and children in modern slavery were identified as critical data gaps to address in future estimations. 
The 2018 Global Slavery Index saw substantial methodological improvements, including a significant increase in the number of survey data points, and substantial changes to the approach to estimating prevalence of modern slavery in countries without survey data. According to researchers Andrew Guth, Robin Anderson, Casey Kinnard and Hang Tran, they find the 2014 Global Slavery Index's methods reveal weaknesses and they raise questions about its replicability and validity. They have stated that the publicity given to the index is leading to the use of its data can lead to inaccurate policy formulation and methods used in the index are inadequate. In the 2014 Global Slavery Index, some countries, for which no data were available, were given the same rate as countries that were judged to be similar. For example, prevalence rates for Britain were applied to Ireland and Iceland, and those for America to several Western European nations, including Germany. This form of extrapolation has attracted some criticism. Scholar Anne Gallagher said the 2014 Global Slavery Index is based on flawed data. Gallagher writes, The basic unit of measurement of modern slavery is flawed, the definition is self created, and, bizarrely, changes from one year to the next. Alexis A. Aronovitz called the index to be terribly flawed and points out that the index is based on mix of sources, population surveys in a few countries, fuzzy estimates by governmental agencies or NGOs, stories in the media, and local experts. For nations lacking any such source, the index creators engage in an extrapolation exercise, they simply apply an estimate from one nation to similar nations lacking such estimates. Topic. Global Slavery Index 2018 The following is a ranking of countries by population living in modern slavery. The list includes 11 countries with lowest rates on the index. The full list can be found at the official website 1. Japan 2. Canada 3. Taiwan 4. New Zealand 5. Australia 6. Chile 7. Mauritius 8. Uruguay 9. Costa Rica 10. United States 11. Argentina Topic: <laughs> Global Slavery Index 2014 Topic: <laughs> Global Slavery Index 2013 The following is a ranking of the top 30 countries, territories in order of the lowest prevalence of modern slavery. The full rankings can be found in the Walk Free Foundation's website. Point 1. Iceland, Ireland, United Kingdom 4. New Zealand 5. Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, Greece, Luxembourg, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland 14. Cuba 15. Portugal, Spain 17. Costa Rica 18. Panama 19. Canada 20. Mauritius 21. Singapore 22. Hong Kong 23. France, Netherlands 25. Australia 26. South Korea 27. Germany 28. Barbados 29. India 30. Trinidad and Tobago 31. Italy 32. Latvia 33. Japan 